This is Digi's first uh, cyber safe digitization camp. Uh, what we uh, hope to achieve from this camp is to do capacity building for a group of young ambassadors. Uh, to help them to be able to understand the different risk of the internet. Now the internet provides great things for us, we know that, but it also comes with a lot of risk. So through the camp, we're hoping to tip the scale towards an internet of good things. To be honest, I know nothing about cyberbullying. I was a bit, uh, how do you say, curious on you know, what, what to expect from this camp. It really pushed me out of my comfort zone because I don't really like go going to this camp stuff, but I learned a lot of things actually and made a lot of friends. I found out from my friends about this camp and they were like, okay, go, go for it, go for it. So, okay, join. This camp has really opened my eyes about you know, the dangers and the horror really of uh, cyberbullying and cyberbullying. Before this, I didn't even know what cyber grooming was. Initially, I don't feel like it's my business because uh, it doesn't occur to anyone next to me. We teenagers, we always saw like all the good side and some of us have seen the dark side. It's time for people to step up. The dark side of the cyber world is much more deeper and much more darker than we first thought. First, you'll be like, okay, cyber safe. You don't really get the actual what they're trying to put into us. Then once you come to the camp, you realize what, how big the scope is, how detailed it gets, what it affects the people, and you know, they give us the stories of victims and all. So I mean, it's very, very beneficial for our the current uh, teenagers, the future leaders. So I feel people should go for the camp, definitely should go for the camp, and pay attention when the camps, because they really, really learn a lot. Wanglo Baling has many different ways. It's not just affecting your friends. 也不只是影響到你的家人,它是甚至影響到你整個人的生活。A lot of things you all touch, I have, I can relate to it. I've learned to not be a bystander, and just to not, do not get involved in cyberbullying. 